Good afternoon, everyone. This is a very short learning uh, uh, discussion about the assignments that you have in my classes for pharmacology. Uh, it includes your ATI assignment and the drug card assignment. We're going to discuss how best to do those. Let's talk just a bit. I want to give you a term that you might hear me use. It's called meta-learning. Meta-learning is defined as being aware of and taking control of your own learning. Uh, I see a lot of students who don't do that. They say, well, just tell me what's on the test. And it isn't that kind of a thing anymore as you get into the nursing classes, okay? For pharmacology, there's two non-didactic assignments each week for class. The first one is there's a list of drugs that you have to make a drug card for. And the second one is there is usually an ATI module assigned for pharmacology. I'm going to give you a list uh, uh, on some slides here. I'm going to go through a couple things that you need to do that will help you get this these non-didactic assignments completed and have you help you to try to try to retain some of this material. The first thing you need to complete your assignment is some type of internet access, and you will need the ATI pharmacology book. So I have here pictured both the PN and the RN book. They're different colors. They have a lot of the same material in them. An additional thing that you need as a nurse and to complete your assignments and for clinical is some sort of drug reference guide. I have a picture here of the a current one that's listed on your syllabus. I believe it's Pearson's Nurses Drug Guide, but I often have students who say uh, they'll, ha they'll have an older version like maybe 2021, maybe their mom or dad gave them to them or they got to use at a bookstore. It's okay to use that older version of that book but I will tell you if you try to get through class and don't use a book you will probably end up doing poorly in the pharmacology class. The uh, One of the last things that you need for your class is some form of our textbook. I have here a picture of one of the textbooks used for one of the classes I, I but I mean for you to try to get through your class and not have a textbook that you're going to maybe look up information in, it's just going to set you up for failure if you don't have the textbook. Uh, one other thing that you are probably going to need is some sort of three by five card that you can pick up at like Dollar General or Family Dollar, or I, I suppose Marks or any of the drugstore would have them too. And um, that's to put your, your drug information on once you look it up and you learn it. And remember now, those drug those drugs listed for the drug the drug cards I also go over in an online uh, an online voiceover usually I usually go over them also in class and in lab so you have opportunity to bring these cards with you to class but what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go first of all and go to your tracking calendar and you're going to see what the ATI module is for the week I list the ATI modules due each week on the tracking calendar and if you want to receive credit for the module you have to complete all the activities associated with that module okay this can, there's videos in the modules quizzes sometimes there's some math problems and my suggestion to you to help some of you is to go in when you're completing that as a uh, module is that that is where you should probably do your assigned drug card for each week while you're working in the module there's actually a file drawer inside the module that will give you the breakdown breakdown the need to know information that you need to put on the drug card because you don't need to write every single thing on a drug card Okay, I'm going to give you an example here on the next slides. You also probably need to look at your textbook and be aware of the mechanism, uh, medication's mechanism of action. Uh, make sure you looked inside the nurse's drug handbook and learn, learn how to actually look up medications inside a book. So this is a screenshot I took of what I see when I open the module. My big thing was I wanted to see what you see. And although this isn't coming out real, real big here when I'm trying to, um, uh, I'm trying very hard to do this PowerPoint, over here I'm gonna draw an arrow and there's a little cupboard looking thing over here on the left. It actually looks like drawers. And when you open those drawers, the drugs that you need to know are listed in there by category. And they'll, they'll instead of having just pages and pages of information that you know that none of us are going to be able to memorize, it gives you what you need to know about a drug. I'm going to use the example of acetaminophen. Okay, acetaminophen is a generic name for a drug that you probably know as Tylenol. 
And so there's a whole bunch of stuff. If you like open the actual uh, drug handbook, it'll give you all the dosages and everything. And it always mentions nausea and vomiting, but those aren't the kind of things that they ask you about. They ask you a lot about patient teaching. And when you go over here into this AC, inside this ATI module and you do these activities that are over here, and I'm gonna circle the activities for you. They're over here. Uh, they're in here. You got to do these activities. In addition, they'll give you the names of the drugs over here in the little video. In addition, we go over to them. In, oh, we go over them in class. You're going to make your drug cards while you're in here. Okay, it takes a lot. It might, you might have to get a little organized. But the things for Tylenol, acetaminophen actually is processed in your liver. Okay, and it's heavily processed in your liver, and apparently it has something called a black box warning on it. You can see it when you open your books. The black box warning is that you can't take more than 4,000 milligrams a day, and you can't drink when you're on it. Apparently, the, we had some people actually go into liver failure. So guess what test questions come up? Those. They don't ask you anything else. They don't ask you about nausea and vomiting. They ask you about a patient who tells you he has liver problems, and he's a heavy drinker, and he wants Tylenol that you would want to check and make sure it's okay to give him that Tylenol. So that's the kind of stuff they ask. The other thing they ask you is Tylenol is a different pain reliever than what's called an NSAID. An NSAID is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. And if you can see here, this module is pain and inflammation. So um, I have a knee that's kind of a trick knee and giving me some trouble. If I take an acetaminophen, it will stop the pain. It'll shut the pain off. But if I take an anti-inflammatory, it'll take the inflammation out of the knee. And that's the difference between those two. And understanding that comes from these three texts. So you're going to have to have some kind of plan to maybe have your ATA open and get your drug card and save yourself some time. I am aware that you all have families and jobs and how much that all of you really want to do this. But you don't need to write every single thing down about a drug. Just the ATI book is really good about narrowing down those couple of important facts that you need to know. And if you do this module and do these activities, you will you will have a much happier life. This is uh, what I got when I opened the file on the pain and inflammation drugs. And they have acetaminophen is the first one across there. They have prednisone. They have uh, opi opioids, which are the, the, the big ones that come up here. And they have the, the, the medication naloxone, which reverses opioid overdose, which you need to know. That comes up in the test. You can go and click on these arrows here over here and you can get information that needs to go on your drug card and you can simplify it and kind of narrow it down a little bit and uh, it'll be very very helpful for to you using these ATI resources and if you look here I went in to work on the module there's a whole page here non-opioid analgesics they'll tell you a quick brief straight to the point discussion about the non-opioid analgesics. In addition, we talk about that in class. You make a drug card on these particular drugs and then, and you have, here's the thing. When you use your phone, and I know I just can look it up on my phone, I'm in my car, something's going on. If you use your phone, there isn't really anything, really anything wrong with that. But when I see you guys using your phone, you have to be able to repeat back what you wrote. Uh, it's a thing I call I call Sanka, and it's a thing I came up with. If you really must know, Sanka is it was the first decaffeinated coffee, and Sanka actually has come when I told students that there is certain stuff all nurses know about, and that spells Sanka. And what I mean by that is if I took all the nurses that I currently work with, and you you know know quite a few of them, and I lined everybody up and I said acetaminophen, uh, is there anybody who shouldn't take acetaminophen? All the nurses know that you can't take it if you drink alcohol and it affects your liver. If I said some other things about it, they may not know. Uh, and the things like nausea and vomiting aren't going to come up for this. It's they, they know that there's a key point associated with acetaminophen, and that's my sink. If I ever say sink it to you, that's I'm not referring to the old coffee that used to advertise on the Andy Griffith Show. I um, don't have a drug card template. I I always assume that most of you are on the internet so much, and most times I'm having to tell most of you to put your phone away, that you see that there are, if you go and you go on your phone and you go to Google and say drug card template for nursing school, thousands of samples come up, thousands. But some of them have too much information on them. So I put here, if I were going to make a drug card at home, if I went and bought some drug cards here, I would, this is what I would want on the front. I would want to know the trade name, the generic name, and make sure you know the generic name because ATI and NCLEX uses the generic name and what class it's in. I'd want to know mechanism of action 
adverse effects and what organ it affects. And and I say that because I've I've said uh, I've had people bring me a, a, a template. I've seen them do the template on their phone, and they come to me and they go, "Can you tell me a little bit about acetaminophen, the trade name, the generic name?" Can you tell me what it does? And nobody can tell me what it does. And that's just because you don't remember things when you just regurgitate them from your phone. You have to read it and kind of write it. So you would want to have that on here on this front page. If you don't particularly like my template, you can use your own template. Like um, go online, find when ATI makes a template. It's actually on a bigger piece of paper. It's very hard to carry in your backpack. But I know some of the instructors do have you make your template on that ATI template. I can't guarantee that you won't have to rewrite a drug card for an instructor. And that's our right to do that. We want to make sure that you know your medications. Here's, um, if I, if, if, I may try to print these templates onto a card for you guys if you would like to use it. And I'm okay with that. But if I were going to do my drug card right now with you, and if you want to come and do some of them in lab, we can certainly work on them in our lab time. But the back side of the drug card should have the minimum, the contraindications to taking the medication or a black box warning. So for acetaminophen, if I have a liver, like if I have hepatitis or cirrhosis of my liver, I shouldn't take Tylenol. That would be the black box warning. Is there any labs needed for monitoring? Well, if I probably need a liver panel if I'm taking a lot of Tylenol. And then patient teaching and education that you see in ATI. And what are some nursing implications? Well, if I was unable to take Tylenol and I had pain, what would be your other alternatives? Alternatives to what would you give me? Tylenol acetaminophen is the first choice usually for osteoarthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, which is more inflammatory, they tend to use anti inflammatory. So you would want to note any kind of implications for you, what kind of things you would check there. And obviously, they do not have to be in this way that I kind of put them into this color coded thing. Um, but definitely, if you go to your ATI book and look up acetaminophen, these things will pop up for you. When you look in your drug reference book, it just, it's very, you know, it has several pages and includes nausea and vomiting and you don't need to necessarily include all that, but you need to learn how to use that book because you may have a time or where you cannot use the internet or you inevitably someone says, you know, I work in Cleveland, a big hospital, and we've got an internet there and I am not an idiot. I am well aware there's internet. At some point, you may need to know how to look drugs up or have a, a drug card or something with you where you can reference something. Uh, I've enjoyed talking to you today. I'm always available by email to answer questions.